hey lovelies welcome back to another video how are you doing hope you all are doing fantastically great as always let's say almighty god thank you for another bright beautiful and glorious air glow day yeah <laughs> so lovelies i'm back again on that beautiful screen with another amazing mind-blowing effective air growth butter you see our ginger is how to make super duper effective moisturizing anti breakage split and minimizing ginger air group butter all you have to do apply twice or three times weekly for amazing results the first thing i will need i will need my ginger i've already peeled the skin also i've washed my ginger so over there is my ginger every time i get many comments like are they potato no they are ginger lovelies all right they are fresh big ginger so what i'm gonna do right now i'll cut my ginger I will need a blender then I will cut my ginger into a dice form I will throw into my blender like so. Now when it comes to our air, ginger ginger is extremely amazing. It's one amazing evidence we truly need to put more into our air and our scalp. Number one, it helps to soothing any scalp irritation. If you are having inchy scalp, you are having dry and uh, dandruff, if you are having alopecia, if you are having badness, if you are having a lot of breakage, if you are having tender scalp, ginger herb is soothing our scalp. If you are having lies on your hair, just blend ginger juice, sprinkle into your hair alongside with tea tree essential oil. It will help remove every form of lies away from your hair. When it comes to our hair, guys, ginger herb is stimulating blood flow into our hair, into our scalp for healthy hair growth. Ginger herb to minimize shedding and breakage are trying to our hair. Keep our air well moisturized and well conditioned to minimize breakage and shedding. Ginger also improve our air elasticity, and ginger also help us to thicken the air, darken the air for healthy air growth. So right now, after finish cutting my ginger, I will now go in with my carrier oil. I will need 100 ml of my sunflower oil. You can need or use any oil of your choice. You are good to go. But I always advise use a lighter based carrier oil like soya bean oil, rice oil oil and grape seed oil almond oil or your sunflower oil so right now i'm going to blend everything into a smooth consistency make sure you take your time to blend everything really really well often time i guess many comment like jenny if i don't have a blender how can i proceed please you need a blender for this recipe or better still shop your ginger into a mini dice form they are going to proceed with the frying method okay so right now lovelies i'm done from blending my ginger guys it smells so amazing and it's so effective on the air oh my god so what i'll do right now I'll go in with my little pot you can use your pan i'm using my non-stick pot i will transfer my ginger into my pot like so then we are going to cook on a very very low flame when it comes to ginger, it's a very delicate ingredient. So make sure you take your time. When you are cooking, you don't allow it to be too um, burnt or don't allow it to be too hot in the fire. I mean, don't allow your flame to be too high and don't cook more than 20, 30 minutes maximum, all right? Because the main aim is to make sure you don't overprocess it by killing all the nutrients from the ginger. You need them in your air to be enable your air to grow extremely faster. So right now, I'm going to mix that so that we transfer into my pot and make sure if you blend, allow it to really, really blend together. If you want the ginger and the oil to mesh together for the oil to be able to extract all the ginger nitrate into the oil for your egg. So right now I'm just frying like so. Please make sure you don't allow it to cook over too much overcooked. I don't allow your flame to be too high. I don't like, don't like to get burnt. So I will cook for 20-30 minutes maximum. That I will off my flame. That I will take it down. So right now let's go into the butter phase. What I will be using when it comes to the butter, you can add any one of your choice. You are good to go. I will need 50 grams of my coconut and 
or a fuzzy grass of my shea butter. You can add any butter of your shirt. You are good to go. I have so many butter out there in the market, but you can add any one of your shorts. You are good to proceed. What I will do right now, I'm going to mix two of them together like so. That will go in with my emulsifying wax. Why do I add emulsifying wax? I still have some ginger juice inside the oil that I'm going to strain. I don't want it to go bad. So emulsifying wax help to burn both water and oil together so right now i will take some amount depending on the amount of butter you are making but i will take maximum 20 grams of my emulsifying wax okay don't add too many or you just need a little bit to burn the water and oil together so right now i am going to put aside inside the microwave for at least for at least five uh, seconds to allow everything to melt together so here is my ginger the one i fry earlier on so now it's time to strain so i'm going to use my little transparent bowl and my cheese cloth to strain the oil away from the ginger pop guys make sure you strain don't proceed like so you don't want ginger pop to stuck on your hair and your scalp so right now no i will need my <coughs> Sorry guys, I will need my bow and my cheese cloth. I use your filter or your t-shirt or your stock, but anything you are using, please make sure it's not wet and it's not dirty. Okay, you don't to contaminate this butter out there. And I doubled my cheese cloth. Okay, so right now I'm gonna pour in my mixture into it like so. That we are going to press as many oil as possible. When you are straining, don't don't worry if any uh water go into the oil. I mean the ginger juice. Don't, don't make sure you just press. Okay, you don't to grab your hands as many. Oil as possible so right now i'm going to press as you can see me strain really really well guys you have to strain okay when it comes to the ginger pop don't throw it away you can also use it as a body um, body scrub add your sugar into it add your oil into it mix together and use for your body scrub it's so good on the skin yes it will help you exfoliate your skin really really well so after i strain guys here is the amount i got and my body the one I meant earlier on, I will not transfer into my oil like so. I meant my oil and my butter and my emulsifying wax for my, in, the, in the microwave for at least five seconds right now. I will transfer into my oil. You can also use a double a boiling method. You are good to go as well, depending on what you prefer. But right now, I will need one tablespoon of my organic honey. Honey help in moisturizing the air, keep our air moisty, absorb moisture from the hair into our air for effective air growth. So right now, I will need my glycerin oil. I will need one tablespoon of my glycerin oil, as you can see. That will not need my castor oil. You can add any one of your shirts glycerin oil help to also moisturize the air castle oil help it thickens darkens the air if you have your alopecia bad edges it helps to revive damage the extremely fast time so right now i will need my essential oils when it comes to the essential oils you can add any one of your shirts the one your hair loves the one you are used to the one you have just add you are good to go if you also have the ones i'm using you are good to go as well essential oil is extremely good when it comes to making our own diy out it makes our product more concentrated and more effective so i will have five drop each of all my essential oils depending on the ones you have you must not add everything to it okay you add the one you have okay so i added five drop each behind the camera right i'm going to miss everything like so really really well as you can see me doing so after i miss guys i will not transfer i will not cover it up i'll put inside the fridge the fridge for up to 30 minutes guys make sure if you put inside the fridge you have to cover it up because you don't want water to go into it so right now make sure i mix everything together now with my kitchen wrap to just wrap like so i'll put inside the fridge or inside the freezer i prefer putting them inside the freezer not completely strong but a little bit solidified and please guys use a bigger bowl don't be like me because i made a mistake i use a smaller bowl so after about 20 minutes inside the freezer because how it's looking guys frosty frost the color is coloring yeah the color is colorizing i just love the colors so right now use my electric and mixer to miss really really to whoop my butter when it comes to the consistency guys 
depending on what you are going for i love my butter more fluffy and more creamy okay so depending on you when you have whooping you will whoop you will scoop whoop you will scoop until you get a perfect beautiful paste you are going for at the same time i especially want to appreciate you all for your love your support for liking share my video for subscribing commenting down below i'm so grateful i don't take your love for granted god bless or more after the other and if you are new here welcome my name is jenny i'm into air growth tips skincare weight loss glance to my channel or my page if you love what i do here you love my craft i'm into diy when it comes to our skin no chemical guys all natural to your hair to your skin and for your hair all natural without breaking the bank yes guys making your own product is more safer than the one that you buy outside so right now if you love what i do help me to like share follow my page subscribe to my youtube channel is free of charge and god bless you as you do so amen so right now after i whoop i'm going to scoop because that is looking guys it's not completely ready so what i will do lastly i will add my preservative yes because i, I we have some ginger juice inside there I can tend to go bad like the next day if you do not preserve this butter. So make sure you preserve your butter. So I added in total 5 ml of my preservatives. Right now I am going to whoop again. Look how creamy it is looking, how fluffy it is looking. This is what I am going for. I love my butter more, more creamy and more fluffy. Okay, and that's where it absorbs into my hair faster. So love is here is how it's looking. So what I will do next now, I'll go in with my clean and sterilized jar. Make sure your jar is not wet, your jar is not dirty, and your jar is extremely dry and clean. So I will transfer my jar, my butter into yeah, like so. With like so, it can last me up to six months, one year, depending on how fast I use my butter. So right now, I'll just transfer like so, as you can see me doing. I repeat, guys make sure your jar is clean and it's not and it's not dirty so how can you apply apply twice into your head to moisturize your head twice or three times weekly for amazing results can be as a pre pool moisturizer to see in the moisture to treat your scalp and for any scalp irritation for both kids and adult hair if you like it the help you like also on your skin guys your skin as we can also benefit from this butter out here so lovely with this we come to the end of of today's video if you find it useful informative help me to like share comment down below follow is free of charge and god bless you as you do so until i will see you in the next one or until we see me again on your beautiful screen next time remain blessed and you know what peace bye bye toodles have a beautiful day guys ciao ciao